Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my cooking channel. Well, uh, on today's episode, as I told you in my previous uh, video, I will show you how to make uh, baslama, a Turkish bread. So uh, on today's video is uh, all about uh, the Turkish bread baslama. It's a very nice bread. Uh, it's very similar to our Indian bread. And uh, uh, let's do it. Uh, for that, I'm going to use this uh, few ingredients only. Here I have a uh, all-purpose flour, some milk, water, salt, sugar, and yeast. So let's start uh, making the bread. Okay, guys, take the ball, put the flour, some salt. About two three pinch give it a mix little okay here I'm uh, using the milk I warm up about 40 degrees Celsius now what I will do I will add the yeast and sugar inside give it a nice mix and then let the yeast and sugar work with the milk let it completely dissolve and then we will add into our flour slowly slowly yeast is dissolved now we will add the milk into the flour Give it a minute to mix well with flour and milk and then we will add the water. Okay, take a lukewarm water, same amount of uh, milk, add into it and let the machine work for you. Give it about 2 or 3 minutes. Let it mix all together, let the gluten uh, work nicely. It's ready now, we will take it out, the dough, oh, well, nice, huh? that's some uh, flour underneath, take it out. Give it a nice mix with the help of your palm. Just make it a nice uh, clean round ball and give it a rest. What I will do, I will show you. I will grease uh, with the oil a little bit and then. I will put back the stove inside and let it rest about one hour in a room temperature or a warm place about one hour or one and a half hour until it dries up and then we will start making the bread. Wrap it with clean pan nicely and give it a nice rest to the bread. This is what I'm going to put on my bread. I chopped the coriander. Now I'm using this uh, homemade uh, lemon infused olive oil. This will go together, mix well. And then each bread, we will grease it with the help of the brush. Super nice. I will show you later. Look at this guys. My dough is risen enough. Now I'm going to make the nice balls. And 
then take it down to your toe. Okay, it's done. Now just roll it nicely. Don't press too hard. Let the air be inside. Now just cut into the required size of balls you want. Okay, again, dust the surface a little bit. So, what will happen here? The dough will not stuck. Just roll it nicely. Okay, make a nice round ball. Easy. Look at this. And do the same with others. Okay, it's done now. I'm going to cover them with just kitchen towel. Give it a rest about five to seven minutes and then we will roll it and we cook. Meanwhile, I heat up my pan, frying pan. I'm going to cook my breads here, so make it super hot. Okay, that's the surface. Now make it nice round. And just take it like that nicely and just drop it like that. Nice round. Flip over, see? Nice golden color. Like I told you, it's quite similar to our Indian bread. And I love this bread very, very much. I will recommend this bread surely for all the Indians who is out of the country. Try this. This is the way it's supposed to be. Super nice. Look at the air inside. Like our chapati. <laughs> it looks like a pillow. See? Nice. It's done now. What I will do? Like I told you, I'm going to use this olive oil and just rub it on the top. Will give nice lemon and coriander flavor also to the bread. Good. Look at this beautiful bread, Mishlama. I will tear it for you. Look at this. Nice. This is called Mishlama, a Turkish bread. You can have it for dinner, for uh, your kebabs, for sandwiches, whatever you like it. I'm gonna have here, look at this beautiful plate also. I made a chole for myself and uh, this will remind me a uh, taste of naan. It's very nice, look, you can have it with your Indian food as well. And uh, so I hope you guys will like this recipe. Try it at home and let me know in the comments how you like it. And uh, keep subscribing, supporting my channel and uh, there is a lot to come more on my next video i will take you to morocco and uh, i'm going to make uh, like a special dish which called a tangine and uh, stay with me see you soon